How's it going guys? Welcome back to Dip Discovery. Today I'm doing an unboxing and look at the Purple Panda lav mic. Okay, so this is quite a cheap, inexpensive lav mic which you can get from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below and you can check it out. But yeah, I, what I'm going to be using it for is actually um, for moto vlogging. Um, it's quite a popular mic recommended by a lot of moto vloggers on YouTube. So I thought I'd give it a go because it's only less than about £15 on Amazon UK. So quite a good deal. Um, and uh, what I'll do is I'm going to do an unboxing. I'll show you my whole... Uh, helmet vlog setup that I'm using um, and to give you an idea and I'll give you a sound sample of that. So let's open the thing up. So you get it in the purple panda box and you get this nice uh, little plush kind of uh, carry case with it as well which is nice to see. So with that carry case you also have the user guide in there too um, which tells you how to use the microphone and all the accessories that comes with it as well. So if we open up the carry case, you can see all the accessories you get. So you do get quite a lot of bits and bats really included. It's not just a really cheap uh, mic which doesn't come with all the stuff. You know, you get quite a lot of uh, accessories here. So let's just get them all out. And we can see what we have. So as you can see, you get quite a lot of bits. So you've got the lav microphone itself which comes with a little uh, boom uh, wind protector on it already which is nice to see and it feels quite nice and got a bit of a weight to it so it doesn't feel cheap you also get a 3.5 mil jack extension cable as well um, you've also got a lavalier mic clip like a spare one in case your uh, existing one goes broken you've also got a little micro usb uh, obviously it's mini USB, sorry, to a three and a half mil jack adapter. You've got the uh, dead cat there, as again, it's another wind protector. And you have got a two uh, pin jack, well not pin, two uh, TRS jack to normal uh, jack uh, adapter as well. So you get all that kind of stuff with it. Look at the microphone itself. Really, really nice build quality, uh, small, a small footprint as well. You can detach it from the lavalier clip as well, which is pretty cool. And you can just remove the um, uh, little boom cover as well. And it comes with nice little labels on it, which tells you what to do, like plug it in firmly until you hear a click. So as you can, uh, as I said earlier, I am going to be using this for motor vlogging. So I probably will be using the uh, dead cat that they give you to stop out a bit more wind noise, um, which is good that they actually give it you as well. Uh, what I'll do real quick is I'm just going to plug it in to my uh, microphone uh, receiver. So at the moment I'm using the Rode Lavalier Go. This is what you're hearing right now. Now to get this to actually work with the uh, Purple Panda, because the Purple Panda has got uh, a three lines on it on the jack. Um, now the Rode Lavalier Go has only got two. So if you just plug this straight into the Rode Wireless Go, it's not going to work straight away. So that's why they give you this adapter for the, that type of situation. So if you plug it in this adapter, then you should hear a confident click. Then we can plug it in and see what it sounds like. All right, so this is the audio now using the Purple Panda lav microphone. So it's interesting to see if this is actually any better than the Rode Lavalier Go. Now the Rode Lavalier Go, which I normally use, um, is actually about a 60 pound lav microphone, whereas the Purple Panda is only like less than 15 pounds. So it'd be interesting to see if you're actually getting any more value for money there um, with this audio quality. Just tell me what you guys think of this audio quality. Now what I'm gonna be doing is doing my uh, helmet setup. I'll show you how that's all done. And then obviously we'll be out on the road and you can compare the audio there. All right guys, so once you've finished, you should end up with something like this. So it's quite a neat setup. I'll put all the cheap pads and everything back. And as you can see, that's the Insta360 right there in the front. And it's quite neatly uh, put there because you can't see much of the cable. So now I've got the uh, right angle three and a half mil jack cable, which going straight out of the, uh, the thing there. And it goes round here. And I've actually rooted it like behind the camera really neatly like there down and then if you flip the uh, camera uh, the helmet upside down it just cheek you know sneaks in underneath the uh, the chin uh, guard there for the wind deflector and then uh, you can kind of see 
the uh, the microphone just there hidden on the chin so really really neat setup and it, when you put it on it feels like there's nothing there so there's no like pressure points on your uh, uh, you know your, your cheeks or anything like that which is kind of good and then there when it's down like that that's what it kind of looks like so quite a, a neat setup if I think if I do say so myself anyway so uh, yeah let's take this thing out and we'll give it a go and see what it looks and sounds like all right guys so here I am on the road and I'm using the uh, Insta360 One RS with the purple panda microphone um, um, another good thing about the uh, the uh, Insta360 One RS is when you actually put in a purple panda uh, microphone, um, the uh, and it, it, the Insta360 recognizes that you've got an external microphone um, plugged in, and what that means is um, it actually uh, lets you uh, adjust the gain on the microphone because a lot of uh, microphones have different levels at which they record, so the um, you can change it from plus 18 dB all the way to minus 18 dB. Now the Purple Panda, from what I just had a brief look at when I was doing my recording, um, it does actually rec uh, record quite high, like it's quite a loud uh, microphone, quite sensitive. So I've actually got this footage set to minus 18 dB. And um, I'll see, obviously, once I get the footage and put it on the uh, computer, whether I need to lower it anymore in post, um, you know, or not. But we'll see what we get. But hopefully, I'm hoping we get a bit of um, uh, my voice clear enough and we also get um, some good engine noise as well because I don't want it too uh, quiet where you can't hear the engine and can't hear my voice because otherwise it'd be a bit, a bit boring, really. And like I said, it's quite a neat solution because you don't have loads of cables and adapters and the, you know, extra mods and stuff like you have on the GoPro just to get a, an external mic hooked up. You can do it all quite seamlessly using what you get included um, with the uh, microphone kit and some, you know, a bit of cable. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you like the uh, quick motor vlog setup tell me what you think obviously it's the first time I'm using it so I'm probably going to shoot fine tune it the more I kind of use it um, I've also I've used all kind of auto settings on the camera to capture this footage as well so you guys will have to tell me what you think of it and if you got any uh, questions about how I achieve this setup you know that I've not mentioned in the video please uh, get drop us a comment and please like and subscribe if you found the video useful and you know happy motoring guys